I recently completed the Ultimate Figma Masterclass by Misco. I'm going to give you my thoughts about the course and tell you how it's changed the way that I work so you can decide if taking it is right for you. This course is truly excellent. It's probably the best online course that I have taken, and I'm without a doubt a much better designer because of it. I just finished a big project at my job where I was using what I learned from the course. I'm not exaggerating when I say this. I was able to finish the project about twice as fast and make much better designs. At the time of recording this video, the course is only $300, but I'm certain that I'm going to end up making a lot more over my career as a result of taking it. I definitely view the money that I spent as an investment. In this review, I'm going to cover why I took the course, what you'll learn, and what you can expect after taking it. Now we'll get right into why I took the course. The main reason that I took it was because it's become obvious to me over the past couple of years that having great Figma skills is just about as important as your design skills for the majority of UI, UX, and product design roles. I've even noticed that being very efficient in Figma can lead to you making much better designs overall. It can cut down on the amount of time that you spend on tedious design tasks to free up more time to work on the design details that matter most in a great product. I'll admit, even as a senior UI UX designer, my Figma skills were nowhere near good enough to be a highly efficient designer. I knew that I was wasting so much time by not having a great understanding of some of the most powerful features in Figma, such as auto layout and the deeper intricacies of components. I decided to take this particular course for a few reasons. It gives an in-depth explanation of every feature in Figma that's worth knowing about and has assignments or challenges to go along with every lesson. Misco is also somebody who I love learning from. I've been following his YouTube channel for years and he's excellent at explaining complicated topics in an understandable and engaging way. He's had a long successful career and he's definitely somebody who I aspire to be like. The course is also ever evolving. As Figma is making updates and adding new features, Misco is adding onto the course. He has a new module and an entire 2.0 version in the works right now. As a side note, this is a good time to buy the course because the price will increase as more is added, but you get access to all future updates by paying the one-time price. The link to buy the course is in the description below. I also chose this course because you get access to the designership community, where you get to connect with other designers enrolled in the course and you get to ask questions. I consider that a huge upside that many other courses can't provide. And now we'll cover what you'll learn. The thing I love most about this course is you aren't just following the steps of how to use certain features. You're learning how to be a better designer in real world scenarios by using the most powerful features in Figma. Throughout the course, you're working on a mock client project. At different stages of the project, you're shown how to use the features that would make you the most effective in the given scenario. After getting an explanation of a concept, you will then get to do a challenge in the Figma files that come with the course. After that, you get to see how Misco completes the challenge to ensure you did it correctly. You start the course by learning about Figma project management. This is all about how to organize your Figma files and assets to be the most productive at each stage of a project. It also sets you up for clear communication with clients, stakeholders, or coworkers. Next, you'll delve into design systems and utilizing Figma to make scalable components. This module also goes into some UI design concepts, focusing on typography, style guides, and grids. I particularly enjoyed this module for the clear explanation of auto layout and component variants, which were areas that I had struggled with previously. The efficiency gains that you get from mastering these features are significant for large design projects. The next module covers responsive design. In here, you're going to learn about principles that come from web development, like the box model and Flexbox, to make designs that scale based on screen size. In here, you're going to learn about auto layout at an advanced level to make your designs closely match how developers write code. This is going to make your designs much easier to build and also save you time. After that, you'll learn about mastering components. This module rounds your component knowledge and covers some of the things that were not in the design systems module. It goes into things like when to use components and how to use component sets. Next up is a module on design handoffs. 
This is all about how to set up your files so that developers can build the designs and also exporting assets so that they can easily be used in code. The course finishes up with an in-depth module on prototyping and animation. This one was really cool. You'll get to learn how to use the animation features and also learn about the principles of great animation. You then go into how to build a prototype. By the end of this module, you'll be able to build a, an impressive prototype that utilizes animation throughout. As I mentioned before, Misco is adding new modules to this course, so there's a good chance that more has been added after the time of recording this review. Now I'm gonna cover what you can expect to gain by taking this course. I think that there's a few things you can realistically expect. The first one is you'll be able to work much faster. This is definitely one of the things that I noticed right away. I would say that the skills you gain in components and auto layout will have a major impact on cutting down the amount of tedious work that you have to do. For almost any situation where a change needs to be made across multiple screens, a great use of components and auto layout should make that very quick. Beyond that, Figma will become very comfortable for you overall. You'll be able to use the right tool for any situation very quickly and easily. Another big thing is you'll be able to build a scalable design system from scratch. This will ensure that you have a high level of consistency in whatever product that you're working on. This could also open up different work opportunities where that skill set is needed. If you aren't in a position where you're going to be building a design system, it could also make you a very valuable contributor to whatever system that you're working with. You can also expect to become a better designer in general. There's so much content in here that covers far more than just Figma. I know for myself, I was able to improve my UI design, motion design, and prototyping. I also developed a much better system overall for complex projects. I think that this course goes a long way in bringing you to the next level as a designer. Now, to give you some final thoughts, I think that this course is a great investment for just about anybody who spends a significant amount of time in Figma. It's one of the few courses where anyone from a junior to a senior level would benefit from taking it. I will say if you're brand new to Figma, this course might be a little bit advanced at the moment, but once you get the fundamentals down, this could be a good next step for you. As I was briefly mentioning before, there is a 2.0 version of the course in the works right now. This would be a great time to buy because you get access to the 2.0 version, which will be more expensive, if you buy it at the current price. There's a link to buy the course in the description below. For full disclosure, I am part of the ambassador program for this course, so using that link does help me out a lot. I did pay full price for this course and took it all on my own. I just wanted to become a part of this ambassador program because I believe in the course and Misco as a teacher. So thank you very much for checking out my review and I hope to see you guys next time.